hello everyone welcome back to my channel i am the joyful cook and i hope everyone is doing well so today i share my healthy zobo drink recipe with you if you want to see how i make this then sit back relax let's do this For this zobo recipe, I'm using some cloves, which is also known as kanafuru in Nigeria. You can ask them for that. This is what it looks like. Close up. I have some honey, which I'm using as a sweetener. I have some ginger roots and one cinnamon stick. I love to add cinnamon stick to my zobo drinks. I have pineapple, which I'm using as sweeteners as well. And then I have the zobo leaf or the hibiscus leaves. This is it in it dried form so to begin i'm going to go ahead and pick the leaves i always make sure i pick my zobo leaves before i start washing it and you can see on this particular day i found feathers stuck inside one of the leaves so i had to you know drag it out so always make sure you pick your zobo leaves before you start washing and cooking them you never know what is in there So next i'm going to wash the zobo with plenty of water you guys is very important this step is very very important there's always sand settled at the bottom of the bowl so i always make sure i wash several times until i can find no more sand at the bottom of the bowl don't worry about losing the color the leaves have plenty of color to render when it is cooking can you see that sand mm -mm, you don't want it so make sure you rinse thoroughly if this is your first time stopping across my channel thank you so much please take a moment click on that red subscribe button it's somewhere down to your right that says subscribe hit the notification bell and click the one that says all notifications so you'll be among the first to know anytime i upload a new video thank you so now i have finished washing the zobo i'm going to set this aside next i'm going to go ahead and wash the pineapple i'm going to go in with an iron sponge yes it is that serious <laughs> I'm going to go in with an iron sponge and scrub the back of this pineapple really really well because I'm going to be using the back of the pineapple to boil the zobo so I'm going to add some salt and then just brush thoroughly with an iron sponge until it is clean adding the back of the pineapple is very helpful because it contains disease fighting antioxidants it can help reduce the risk of cancer it may also ease symptoms of arthritis so you can see how beneficial it is to our health but if you don't want to add it you don't have to feel free to skip it so the pineapple is clean now i'm going to cut and peel the pineapple and you guys can you see how ripe this pineapple is looking yes you want to use very ripe pineapple for this especially if you're not going to be using sugar you want to get all that sweetness all the natural sweetness from the pineapple and you guys i could not help myself you see me tasting one of the pineapple it was so sweet so i'm going to peel it now reserving the back remember i'm going to boil it together with the zobo leaves so once i finish peeling it i'm going to cut it and blend it up now i did not remove the core because my blender could handle it but if your blender cannot handle it you can remove the core and then just dump it together with the pineapple back inside the pot I'm going to cut up the ginger as well so everything can blend easily so yeah i'm going to blend everything until it is smooth sometimes i just dump everything like this into the pot so they can cook but then i discovered that blending it gives my zobo a very silky texture and it is kind of thicker as well so, so i'm going to blend it Everything is set now. I'm going to add the washed zobo into a clean pot. Add enough water to cover the content in the pot. Next, I'm going to add the back of the pineapple. The blended ginger and pineapple go in at this point and trust me not to waste anything. Add some water in there and pour it into the pot as well. So next I'm going to add the cloves. You can add it like this into the pot but because I'm not going to be cooking the zobo for more than 15 minutes, I'm going to model it up a little bit so it can release all of its goodness. Once I crush it up like this, I'll pour it into the pot, add the cinnamon stick and then bring it to a boil. So 
so it's been cooking for about 15 minutes now and this is all the cooking i'm going to be doing as far as this zobo is concerned you don't want to kill all the nutrients in the zobo leaves so i'm going to turn off the heat now and let this cool down completely i let my sit overnight so by the next morning it was completely cooled and the drink itself was also thicker good morning this is our zobo the next morning and you can see it's completely cool and quite thick so i'm going to go ahead now and drain it to remove the chunkier particles before i sieve it with my nut milk bag so because i'm not going to be using sugar for this recipe i'm not going to be rinsing it out with water so that the sweetener i'm going to add will be enough so i'm just going to drain out any juice i get from this and that's it So once I'm done with the first stage, I'm going to now pass it through a nut milk bag so it can remove the tiniest particles. And this did a very good job. All the tiny particles are out. Our Zobo drink is now very smooth. So now I'm going to peel the remaining pineapple. Remember I showed you two pineapples at the beginning. This one I'm going to blend it as well and then juice it out. I'm going to pour the juice into the Zobo drink. If you have a juicer, that will be the best gadget to use for this process. Just juice out the juice from the pineapple and you're good to go you can also add orange juice to this if you prefer just do whatever you like so once everything is smoothly blended i'll pass it through a nut milk bag and juice it if you don't have a nut milk bag a very clean pillowcase can do the job and trust me you know i didn't throw this shaft away i ate it off camera <laughs> So once this is done, I'm going to now pour it into the Zobo drink. Like I said, you can add orange juice if you want, but this pineapple did a really good job sweetening the Zobo. So I've added it now. I'm going to add the honey and mix until it dissolves. Even without sugar, this Zobo tasted really good. It was so rich, so fruity and so lush. Not to talk about the health benefits of this drink. So why not? It's a win-win situation. It's delicious. It is healthy. You guys, for me, this is my summer drink right here. I am replacing this drink with any other drink this summer. And I hope you do the same. So once I'm done stirring, the honey have dissolved into the Zobo very well. Now I'm going to transfer it into a jar and just let it chill in the fridge you can serve this drink either cold or hot as a tea whichever way you choose to enjoy it. this drink is healthy i'm going to serve it over some ice now and enjoy i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did give me a like don't forget to subscribe share this video with your friends and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye